Hello, Taurus. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of June 22nd through the 29th, 2020. The cards I am using today are Oracle of Visions by Carol Marchetti, and I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so I do feel like somebody may have just broken out of some kind of mental trap, okay? Um, I think somebody broke out of it, but they're thinking about going back, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got the infatuation card reversed here. So I do feel like I'm going to just say it this way because it's easier. It could be the other way around, okay? I do feel like you might have been infatuated with this person, but I do feel like this person was very um, volatile, vicious, nasty, just mean, okay? Very mean, but they look so handsome or so cute and innocent, okay? But it was not real, okay? Definitely don't judge a book by its cover situation okay so we got card number 41 here so i do feel like somebody is thinking about like okay i want to go back to this person but this person is a nasty person and i do feel like i'm better than this i deserve better than this but i really want to be with this person okay okay so i did see a white shadow just now this is not for everybody but i do feel like um, there may be some pregnancies involved, okay? That could be some of the reasons somebody is going back to the situation, okay? Yeah, so here it comes back again. Somebody definitely getting ready to go back to a relationship um, or thinking about going back to a relationship because um, the previous person was attractive, okay? But somebody's also thinking, like, do I deserve this? Is this person good enough? And I, I, I do feel like somebody analyzing they self at the same time as um, the, the person that they're thinking about going back to, okay? All right. So, yeah, so somebody is thinking about closing doors to previous situations and starting new chapters, okay? But you see the door still got a crack in it, so I do feel like somebody's still thinking about going back, even though somebody's ready for a new start, okay? Let's see what that is. All right. Oh, yeah, of course. We got friends and family involved. I do feel like somebody's being pulled all over the place um, with the situation, okay? Like, it's all kinds of people coming in trying to help you, but it's making it worse, okay? It's making it worse. All right, so we got the number 8 card and the number 23, okay? Um, so I do feel like for some of you guys, what the heck? I don't know why that looked like a mermaid to me in the back. Um... But I do feel like for some of you guys, uh, I feel like somebody want to leave, but I do feel like they're not putting as much effort into leaving, okay? Right now, I feel like somebody is uh, making excuses to stay in a relationship, stay in a situation that they really shouldn't or don't want to be in, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody was in a relationship where they felt like they had to take care of somebody if it's not emotionally, it was, uh, materialistically, or physically, okay? Um, but I do feel like somebody doesn't have to do this anymore, and that's one of the pluses of being away from this, this situation, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have to take care of a grown person, okay, that ain't my kids. Even if they my kids, I ain't got to take care of them. Okay, so we got card number 47 here. So I do feel like um, somebody trying to heal from a previous situation, from leaving a situation. I do feel like somebody got a lot of help in here. But it's crazy because I feel like it's a lot of people, but I only feel like maybe four people are helping you, okay? Um, even if that these people or this stuff that's helping you could be spirit guides. That's probably who you need to be listening to. Um other than all these people that are going through the same thing, okay? All right, so 
Mm, look at that. We got the fertility card reversed here. So I do feel like uh, for the people who are pregnant or impregnated somebody, I do somebody feel like somebody is thinking about making a decision, changing this situation, making it something that's not, okay? Um, I do feel like if this is you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this also makes me feel like um, if somebody does go back to the relationship, they are expecting something new, some beautiful, some good thing, but it's just going to be the same old stuff. Not going to change, okay? Not going to change. All right, so let's see what's going on with these wild unknown tarot cards. All right, what's going on with the Taurus? What's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right. So we got the two of wands reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is thinking about going back on a situation. Going back to a situation, okay? Mm -hmm. Emotional decision. All right, so um, we got the Son of Wands here. So I do feel like um, somebody's about to receive some kind of message. I do feel like somebody, this message is going to help you. I'm going to say you because it's easier. Um, help you move forward, okay? Whether it be going back to this person or going to someone else, someone new, okay? All right. So we got the Six of Cups reversed here. So I do feel like, yeah, this is going to happen sooner than later, okay? I do feel like somebody's in a situation where they're not getting as much attention, uh, love, adventure as they need, okay? Mm -hmm. I usually don't hear adventure, but I hear it this time. All right, so Eight of Cups reversed here. So I do feel like somebody's definitely feeling like they want to walk away from a situation, but yeah, it's still a choice, okay? Let's see what's going on with this. Son of Wands. One card, please, for the Son of Wands for the Taurus. Nope. Guess I want to go that way. So, the Nine of Cups. Okay? So, I do feel like somebody, uh, some of you guys are in this, um, okay, y'all don't know if, if things is gonna happen right. Okay? So, this Nine of Cups makes me feel like if you, whatever you want, you can make it happen, okay? You can get your wish in that sense. But the thing is, is it's something totally different, the consequences behind it, okay? So if you want this person, you're going to get that person. If you want to be free, you're going to get free, okay? Uh, anything else is another question, okay? That's another question. It's another scene. It's another situation, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with this Six of Cups reverse. One card, please, for the Taurus. All right, so we got the sun card reversed here. Okay, so these are two awesome cards. So definitely you're getting ready to get what you want, okay? When it comes to either getting this person back, because I do feel like some of you guys feel like you can't get this person back, or moving forward, you feel like you can't do it yourself. Whichever way you go, you're going to be successful, okay? It's just in you to be successful. It's just on you to want it, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on with this. Eight of Cups reverse. One card, please, for the Taurus. One card. All right, so we got the World card here. So definitely some completions is getting ready to happen. Some moving forward, okay? So I do feel like for some of you guys, if you leave this relationship, the person has you feeling like you cannot come back, okay? And then with this ten of, uh, ten, with this World card, I do feel like whatever you choose your situation is going to move forward in that direction okay it's just like a i feel like i'm stuck here so if you go back to this relationship you're gonna still feel like you're stuck in that relationship even though you can get out okay but i do feel like if you leave this situation you're not gonna be able to come back okay but all that is completely up to you okay everything all up to you I, I don't know why I, I feel like I need to flip one for the middle. <laughs> All right, so we got the King of Pentacles here. So I do feel like somebody is going to provide for the situation. So I do feel like if you leave somebody, they will give you the money or the things you need to move forward, um, to survive, to take care of a child. 
Um, I do feel like they're going to be committed to that fact. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm seeing there. Okay. This person is, um, a, a person of their word. Okay. That's what it looks like. Okay. This is what I was seeing in my head. This two of swords. So definitely that rule that I was talking about, like if you, whatever you choose, you stuck with your choice, at least, um, mentally. Okay. But I do feel like if you leave this person, um, I do feel like if you're going for a certain amount of time, you cannot go back. Okay. Um, but I do feel like if you're with this person, you're going to feel stuck and it's going to be a long time before you, before you leave. Okay. All right. But you got a choice to make and that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.